<laughs> Alright, well, I don't think that framing is great, but it is what it is. Because, you know, me and cameras. Not good at it. Anyway, it is holiday season, and that means gift giving is around the corner. So I have made two gift giving guide videos in the past, so I will link those both in the description and in the cards above, whichever side it's on, I don't know. Um, so you can go check those out. A lot of those things are still items that I think are great gifts to give. But I have compiled a list together again for you this year, so let's get right on into it. So the first item I want to talk about is actually not this customized little log book, although I will mention this because this is another fantastic gift idea. But I think I have talked about it in the past, so I'm just going to kind of breeze over that one. But this space pen is something I just recently learned about. Um, it's kind of just like a cool little thing just in general, like even if you weren't a diver. But, um, you know, I think the point behind it is that it can write in zero gravity, freezing temperatures, all sorts of conditions. I'm just gonna, here's what it can do. But it's just kind of like a unique little thing that I was like, that's kind of fucking cool. So I got it and um, it wasn't super expensive, but you can get nicer ones if you want to, you know. It's just a, a nifty little, like, kind of cool little thing. But I use it for my waterproof dive log book. This is, again, another fantastic gift. It's super customizable, so you can pick the cover or you can choose from covers that, like, photographers have taken. You pick how many pages you want in the book. You pick the style of dive log you want. You pick how many logs you want per page. Um, but yeah, the pages, like, when they get wet, they don't, like, wrinkle up and everything. That being said, um, the ink, like, if you really want to make it, like, foolproof, use pencil. Um, because the ink, even on these space pens, still will bleed, like, a little bit. If it gets minimal wet, it's not going to be major. But if you wanted to fully eliminate the problem of bleeding, use pencil. Second gift, these are like my favorite little things. So these little string dolls. This is my little scuba diver one, and this one's a little skeleton one because I'm obsessed with skeletons. They have like a trillion different little characters and animals and things you can pick from. I just think they're so cute. I like clip one on my bag, like my little purse bag thing, um, or backpack, or this one hangs from my rearview mirror in my car and then during like spooky season I bring out the skeleton or just switch them out whenever I'm feeling a different mood or whatever but I just think they're so stinking cute like shut up and there's also a male scuba diver and there's also a deep sea diver I love them third one is something that I have continually had on my list of things I need to get myself I just need to get myself a boat bag. And I highly recommend them. So you know those like mesh, like mesh bags basically you kind of throw all your gear in so then you can like carry it onto the boat or unpack it, but then the bag doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. You can kind of shove it underneath the bench or whatever and get it out of the way. The only thing is I refuse to have one that isn't backpack style. It's gotta be backpack style. I don't want to carry around a bag on one shoulder. I hate, I hate that. I don't know what I'm saying. I need one. I guess I'm more just trying to convince myself. I buy yourself one, Olivia. For God's sake, you need one so bad. And every time you get on the boat, you have this stupid problem of your gear in your dumb terry cloth bag thing. And it's a pain in the butt and you hate it every time. But you're too cheap to get a boat bag. Just get a boat bag. Okay, the next item is my follow bracelets. So these are follow bracelets. Basically how it works is that follow has teamed up with different organizations such as Saving the Blue, the Global Penguin Society, Polar Bears International, whatever. So they have one for sharks, one for turtles, one for polar bears, one for penguins, one for lions, and one for elephants. So you can pick which animal you want. They've partnered with a foundation and they have like a group of animals that have trackers in them. When you purchase a bracelet, you get a card with an animal that has a tracker and you can put it into your app on your phone and then you can track that animal and see kind of like this journey where it has been on. So you'll see it from the point of being tagged and released to its most recent like 
ping, which usually is pretty recently. So you're never too far behind on where they're at. I think it's just a really cool concept and a fun gift to give to someone as like a way to do kind of like a bit of a donation. They also get to wear a bracelet and they also kind of get to be involved with a little bit of, you know, tracking these animals and being on their journey. So the next item is a tank fill card. So this I feel like is the scuba divers equivalent of like buying it someone like coffee, kind of scrape off a little extra expense onto their next little dive adventure. So the next item I want to talk about are some personal care items. So here are a couple of my favorites for stream to see the shampoo and body wash, the leave-in conditioner, and the everyday tinted sunscreen. I use this as basically kind of like my foundation and it like makes my face look so much more alive. <laughs> I'm not somebody who ever was into wearing makeup foundation, particularly foundation, but this like really like evens my skin tone. It's sunscreen. So I'm gonna have to wear it anyway, and I'm just obsessed with it. It's just like, so nice. Very much love. Leave-in conditioner is great for after a dive. And then shampoo, body wash. I'm not somebody who like likes to have like a bunch of different products and things like that. So these are my favorite of the Stream to See products. There's also a company called Scuba Screens, kind of like a newer company on the scene, and they make like a shampoo conditioner and leave-in conditioner and they put it packaged in these aluminum bottles that look like mini little scuba tanks. They're really cute um, and that is another option. I'm not an affiliate for them but uh, they're doing a very similar kind of thing to Scream to See where it's all reef safe products. It's designed specifically for scuba divers, made by scuba divers and it's packaged super cute and the aluminum Bottles are very sustainable, like the most, more sustainable than this, quite frankly. No shade, no tea, no hate, stream to see, but um, the aluminum bottles are more sustainable. The only reason I haven't gotten it and I haven't tried it is because the scent of their products. I'm just not really huge into like the minty, spearminty scent, so that's why I haven't tried it out because I just know I won't really jive with the, the scent very well, but the product is still really cute love what they're doing as a company next item i have is a beach cart so this is basically like a little cart it's like a canvas with some like metal bars it collapses up for easy storage and then folds out into like a little cart that you can roll out onto the beach i think this would be a great option if you or you know somebody that does diving on a shore or a place where we park versus where you actually go out into the water has a little bit of a journey to get there, a little bit of path, a little bit of a walk, whatever. Um, having like a little cart that you could put all your gear in to then roll full down to the dive site. Sounds like handy to me. Like the idea of it, something that's on my list. So if it sounds useful to you or to someone you know, that's my recommendation. The next item I have on my list, if you watch my scuba vlog from, I believe it was Boynton Beach. Yes, Boynton Beach, where I was using the reel that's just the, the reel they have on the boat if you don't bring your own reel. And oh my god, what a pain in the butt. Um, so a nice reel, something that I personally need to get and I think would be a fantastic um, gift for somebody. I had the realization realization I'll do it one time realization that um reels are actually kind of stupid expensive or at least like the nice real good ones um the one I was kind of had in my brain turned out to be like two hundred dollars <sighs> but it's such a nice reel I really want it and it would be so handy it can eliminate some danger in the tangling and just ease of use, just like this. I mean, all I'm over here freaking finger spooling. So, a real, I think, fantastic gift idea. On my list, maybe it's on your list too, maybe it's on your dive buddy's list. Get them a real. 
my very, very top of my list of items to get this year. Number one item that I want, number one item that I need is the Insta360. One of the Insta360s. The X3 is the newest one that came out. Basically, it's a 360 camera. It's like the new in action camera type of thing, but it will make my social media life so much easier. So standard, I have used a GoPro. So I still do like a GoPro. I'll probably still use GoPros a lot for a lot of what I do. But this Insta360, it's taking 360 footage at all times, which means that you know, if I'm recording and a shark comes by or some kind of creature comes by that's like, oh my gosh, moment, I'm not going to miss that shot because it's filming at all times. And then I can be simultaneously like recording my reaction and like whatever the inter encounter is at the same time, capturing it all at the same time. So I have to worry about reframing the camera or anything for the different angles, nothing. I just hold it and record and every angle is being recorded. Additionally, you can crop the footage in post to whatever format you need. So I can crop it to landscape mode for my YouTube videos here. And then I can also crop it to portrait mode for stuff that I get on Instagram. That will mean that I don't have to reframe up my camera for different shots for different social media purposes. I just record. Simply just record and that's what I like. The like um, software will even erase out the selfie stick so that it also doesn't look like you're holding anything. And then you can also get really, really long selfie sticks. You can get an angle that's really far away from you that almost makes it look like drone footage. Super, super cool because again, I think I said it in this video already, I say it in a lot of videos, I'm not the person that's the behind the scenes camera type of person. I don't like dealing with the technicals of the camera, it's not me. So if I can make it as easy for me as possible, in operating camera gear, I'm going to. I'm never going to deal with drones. If there's drone footage, I haven't taken it. It's not my drone, it's somebody else. And that's the way I like it. But if I can stick a camera on a selfie stick that's really far from me and quickly get something that looks like drone footage or has that aerial perspective like a drone does and I didn't have to pay for a drone, get a drone license, learn how to fly it, be terrified that I'm going to crash it and lose it or break it or anything like that. That's a win in my book. All in one camera. If I haven't sold you on it yet, I don't know how because I've sold myself on it like 40 times. I'm getting that camera. I'm getting that freaking camera. I want it so badly. I think it's going to make my life so much easier. It's going to give me so many more opportunities to get really cool perspectives, not miss shots. I'm down for it. I want it. I want it so bad. Number one on my list. My last gift recommendation is to gift experiences and not stuff. So while all this stuff is great and fun and all, the number one thing I can recommend is that you gift someone an experience. So go out on a dive with someone, um, you know, buy your buddy their boat excursion for the day, um, do some dives with them, or even better if you are super, super best buddy in the whole world, um, plan a dive trip with your buddy, get them a dive trip. Experiences are more valuable than things. It's the best gift you can get them is to get them underwater and have some new incredible experiences that you share together. It's my number one recommendation, aside from the camera. Um, <laughs> have the camera to capture those incredible experiences if that's your thing. If you like them captured in your brain, then that works too and that is totally okay. So on that note, if you would be interested in going on dive trips with me in the future, going on like group trips with my virtual dive buddies from the internet, um, I will leave a link to my website and my email in the description below. 
and you can sign up for my email list on my website or you can send me an email at fullysmergedcuba at gmail.com and say sign me up, I want to go on trips with you, whatever your message is that tells me that you want to be on my email list for trips and then you will be the first to know when those opportunities come to fruition. And that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you underwater. Bye!